If you want this rare sign of the Battleborn emblem, make sure you like and comment on every video this week. What's going on YouTube? Snapchat with TKO Gaming bringing you guys the week two vendor roll. Some are God, a lot of them are not. So let's quickly get into what weapons you guys should get and stay away from to save your legendary marks here in this week. So let's start off with the Vanguard. We got a couple good weapons here, guys. First off, we're going to start off with the how dare you now granted this will not be your go-to hand cannon for pvp but this is not a bad role for pve keep in mind hand cannons need rangefinder now because of the nerf that they got rifled barrel is the best perk to get on a hand cannon and you have these two perks which are not bad for pve once again not really pvp perks and the sure shot is is amazing as a site so make sure you get that the next thing up is the Parthian shot. If I can find it, there it is. Honestly, this is not the best PvP roll, but it can work. Glass half full is a great perk with small bore, reducing the magazine size, making it something that you can use to just shoot off some bullets early on and then just kill your opponents with that extra damage plus it has that secret round just in case you miss a bullet and once again sure shot is which is a great sight to have now let's go on over to the future war cult future war cult i'm pretty sure the only thing to look out for would be a wormwood nothing else really well, let's take a look here Okay, so what we have here, oh, got a package that I never opened up. Should probably open that up soon. Uh, we have a Wormwood here. Okay, so far, really good perks. Has a Rangefinder, High Cal, Snapshot. Is that, okay, this is an amazing Wormwood. I would definitely pick this up. If there's one weapon you have to buy this week, I would buy this Wormwood. Guys, if you're in our trial stream or in our stream in general and you see us using the Wormwood, you see the damage we do with this gun. We outgun people from insane range and we just take on 1v3 like crazy. We did like what an over a hundred game win streak uh, today on the last day of trials on both consoles. It was crazy. We didn't even lose one game. So make sure you guys check out our live stream if you need help in trials or raids or anything else and make sure you look at the description below because everything you need to know is in the links down there. So connect with us the best that you can. Let's go make our way over to the Crucible where you guys are going to see uh, most likely a really good event horizon uh, that's definitely a good weapon to look out for they have the palindrome here as well so we'll see if that's a good roll this week i doubt it last week's roll was a little too good to be true uh let's take a look here we have the event horizon so far the perks look pretty good hidden hand triple tap mulligan uh and short gaze okay so this weapon could definitely be used in pvp or pve however i would recommend using it in pve especially the skip rounds you can actually carry more in your reserve makes for a great pve weapon let's take a look at the palindrome now the palindrome is right over here uh not bad with the hidden hand but unfortunately it's not a good row you need rifled barrel unfortunately this does not have it hammer forge not bad rifle barrel is needed and once again like i stated before rangefinder is literally a must on hand cannons now it doesn't have sure shot either but true sight is not a bad sight uh that's pretty much it guys for the vendors that you should be visiting uh those are the three main ones we visit because of those weapons we overlooked i hope this really helped you guys in deciding what you want to buy this week and what you don't want to buy we're going to do this every single week as well as vault of glass challenge is coming up for you guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't drop a like in this video and connect with us on all our social media we'll see you guys in the next video peace out